Okay, so I basically just kind of wanted to come on here and talk about my journey so far with cancer. So I was, let's see, this was back in March. I was about 34 weeks pregnant with my second daughter. Um, the pregnancy was going great, no problems at all, a perfect pregnancy. I did feel a lump, probably around 33 weeks pregnant. It was about the size of a small marble, about this, well, let's see, about this big. I thought it was a clogged duct, so I did have a burning sensation coming from that part. So I tried to squeeze it, get the clogged duct out. I could not get it out. I mean, this burning sensation was driving me crazy. So I was like, okay, I gotta go to the OBGYN and see what's up. So I went there, she looks at it, she feels it. She's like, okay, it's nothing to worry about. It's just a clogged duct. We're gonna put you on some antibiotics. I'm thinking, okay, this is not a clogged duct. I've had a clogged duct before. I know what they feel like. It's definitely not that. So I wanna get an ultrasound. So I requested this ultrasound. Um, I go in, let's see, it was probably a couple days later. I go in for the ultrasound. Immediately with the ultrasound, I knew that something was not right. The ultrasound, the ultrasound text face, the look on her face, I will never forget. She had the blankest look on her face. She kept going over it constantly with her wand looking at this. Uh, I just knew that something wasn't right. I just had a gut feeling. I did also have a couple of swollen lymph nodes under my armpit, uh, about two or three that were stuck together. I did not know at the time. I just thought it was just a swollen lymph node. So fast forward a couple days later, I get a call back. I, let's see, she was, she basically told me that it was highly suspicious of cancer, that it most likely was cancer. So I needed to get a biopsy. I go in for the biopsy a couple days later and the biopsy does confirm that it is cancer and it confirmed that it is in invasive ductal carcinoma, HER2 positive, estrogen positive cancer. It's a three centimeter lump in my breast and then I had a pretty large swollen lymph node that was multiple lymph nodes stuck together. So at the time, I did not know that it had spread. I wasn't able to get a PET scan until after I had my daughter. So fast forward a couple weeks later, I gave birth to my precious daughter at 37 weeks pregnant. She was healthy, thank goodness. And then I got the PET scan. It did confirm that it had spread to my liver. There were over a dozen tumors in my liver I did not have any symptoms of this. I did not. Um, all The only thing that I had was the lump, the burning in my breast, and I did have a little bit of burning in my armpit. I had no nipple changes. I know that it's common to see nipple changes like discharge from your nipple, dimpling. I mean, you can Google all these symptoms of breast cancer. I did not have them. I had a burning sensation in my breast and that was it. That was all that there was. And then I found out that it had spread. This three centimeter tumor had spread throughout my body. Um, I believe that this occurred in a matter of months. I, I think it happened very quickly. This is a very aggressive cancer. It is um, a grade three, which means it, it is an aggressive spreading tumor. I'm very thankful though, right now, um, I have done five out of six rounds of chemotherapy I'm on Taxotere, Progetta, and Herceptin, and they are working. I've had another scan recently which showed that the breast tumor is gone, the swollen lymph node is gone, um, the cancerous lymph node is gone, and then the liver, I have only a few tumors left in my liver and they are very, very tiny. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I'm able to go into remission with this chemo. I have a couple more treatments left and then I'll have another scan. So I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you.